So I'm with Janet Robinson today. Her and her husband, Scott, are co-owners of the Magic Canvas in Indian Land, South Carolina. And this is a very unique place. Uh, I've never been anywhere like this. So tell me a little bit about the Magic Canvas. It is, it's a lot of fun. It's a unique venue. We have lots of different things to offer. We do sip and paints in the evenings um, at seven o'clock. We have kids art classes weekly. Uh, we host private events of all kinds. Our uh, venue is very flexible. Um, so we do everything from bachelorette parties, birthdays, corporate events, team building, um, pretty much anything. If you want to celebrate it, we can help you do it. Nice. Um, but one really unique thing about us is that two or three times a month on Saturday nights usually, we do magic shows um, mm. for adults. So think comedy club, but with magic. Okay. We have three headliners and intermission and then, or excuse me, three opening acts intermission than a headliner. So how did you come up with the concept for Magic Canvas? Because there's other places where you can go and do the sip and paint and you know you can go into the city and go to the comedy uh, club there but right. how did you come up with this concept? So um, initially uh, we've always been involved in the magic community. My husband works for Microsoft now. He's been there 30 years but before that he was the magician at Carolyn's oh. back in the 80s. Cool. Yes, so we've always been involved in the magic community. Um, we have a son who's on the autism spectrum, and we um, went to an IEP meeting where we were talking about what we hoped he would do when he graduated, and they suggested production or factory, and he's such a creative child. He loves magic, he loves art, he mm -hmm. loves comedy, he loves all those things. So we basically built the magic canvas hoping that this would be a good place for him to come to work when he graduates from school. So it really is a labor of love then? Absolutely. That's, Absolutely. that's so cool. So, yeah. um, so talk a little bit more about some of the, the events uh, that you host and how do, you, how do people sign up to come and, and see the shows? So you can register online for all of our sip and paints. For private events, we prefer um, to communicate directly so we can talk about special things that we can do to make it um, extra memorable for your guest. Um, but everything else is online. Our website, um, you can buy tickets to the magic shows online. Um, you can buy admissions to our sip and paints as well as the kids art classes. We also have something super cool coming up in, in August. Okay. Um, it's magic camp for kids. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kids awesome. um, ages 8 to 13. Um, it's August 9th through 12th. So they come in every day, they learn some basic magic. And it's like a summer camp, basically. Yeah, summer camp. And then at the end of the week, they perform um, for their friends and family. We put together a little show for them with uh, music and lighting and everything. That's amazing. Yeah. So, um, how, how long have you been in business? Uh, how long has the Magic Canvas been around? And so far, what's been your most memorable event that you've had here? So, we opened in um, October of 2020. Right in the thick of a global I, pandemic, right? Yeah. <laughs> I always say I don't recommend opening a new business. That requires people to people be, to come. yeah, to come um, during a pandemic. However, we've, you know, are, are doing well. Things are really picking up. Our magic shows almost always sell out. Mm -hmm. um, so those are a lot of fun. But we've, I just enjoy meeting so many amazing people, like in hearing their stories mm -hmm. and things like that. Those are things that we enjoy and, and love about the business and also bringing something unique to the Charlotte area mm -hmm. to, which is magic you can't really see it anywhere else no yeah I definitely think this is um, I've been in, in the Charlotte area for 15 plus years and uh, never come across a business quite like this so yeah. um, it's really really neat and exciting to have you here thank you so there was a there's a really cool event that you have coming up as well um, that we were talking about a little bit off camera um, a well-known person who's not known for their art but is going to come here and do a class. Can you tell us about that a little uh, bit? So are you talking about David Arquette maybe? I am, yes. Okay. I am. Formerly, <laughs> so, formerly uh, Mr. Courtney Cox. Mr. Courtney uh, former Cox. Former Mr. Courtney sure. Cox. Yeah. So um, David, one of our investors is Charles's brother who is a referee for WWE. Okay. Or excuse me, Scott's brother, Charles. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, is a referee for WWE. And he and David met on the set of Ready to Rumble. So kind of with that connection, um, David donated to an auction we were doing for a charity. Mm -hmm. um, 
and let me know that he was a Bob Ross instructor. So he is going to come here. Hopefully we can get it, everything set up within the next few months for him to come do a couple of classes for us. That is so cool. Yeah. Um, so we're in Indianland, South Carolina, um, a newer shopping center right here at Bridge Mill. Um, How did you choose this location? We actually live in Bridge Mill. Oh. Um, yeah, we've been here 12 years. Okay. We moved here from Union County. Okay. That's all. So you can ride your golf cart if you have one. Again. We, we, <laughs> we can get our 10,000 steps in each day. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. Yeah. So you are truly a local business. You yeah. can walk to you can walk to work. Um, so I always love to ask, why is it so important that people support local businesses? Gosh, it's just so important to, I think, support the community that's part of who you are and who your family is. And mm -hmm. I love providing safe, nice places for people to come and just unique things to do. So mm -hmm. you don't have to drive 20 miles to get to the Comedy Club uptown. You can just come here. Um, and we have access to so many amazing neighborhoods mm -hmm. that are surrounding us. So, so how do people find out about you um, online? Where can they go to, on social media or on your website? Um, so we're on we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. TheMagicCanvas.com is our website. Um, we also are on TikTok. Um, we everything we do is online we've got some great Google reviews mm -hmm. um, I think we have 35 so far five-star reviews which is great um, but yeah absolutely so well Janet I really appreciate the time you've taken um, to tell me about the magic campus and I want to bring on a special guest uh, your husband uh, Scott Robinson who's going to do some uh, some magic for us awesome yeah, I want to see how it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. He is a little close. He is a little close. So, Jimmy, you know, want to see a little magic trick? I would love, right? Scott, I would love Let's to see that. Let's do something trip. super simple. I'm going to just dribble the cards like this, and anytime you want, just say stop. Stop. Right? You got it? I do. We'll show it to the camera. Okay. I'm going to show it to the lady over there. Okay. Right? We're going to do nothing, though. Right? Okay. We'll do nothing. This is where it gets interesting. If I snap my fingers, the ten of spades. I didn't say that was your card. No. I just said tennis spades. Uh -huh. Watch the tennis spades. It changes into your card. Oh, the two wow. of four. I know that's that's weird, right? <laughs> that's really weird. Let's do it again. Okay. I'm gonna riffle. You say stop. Okay. Not the two of hearts again. All right. Okay. We want to add a little variety. Okay. Right just say stop. Stop. Right there. That's mm -hmm. way down near the bottom. Take the okay. card and look at it. Remember, you can show it to the camera. Just <laughs> not that what. Not off to a good start. Didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Stop. Oh, that's closer to the middle. Great. Okay. Take a look. Take a look. Want me to tell you why that happens? Yeah. <laughs> it's not because all the cards are the two of hearts. That uh -huh. would be a dumb trick. Uh -huh. It's because I do cheat. Before I started, I took a piece of bread. Now listen to this. I took uh -huh. a piece of bread and I rubbed it on the card yeah. front and back. That okay. puts yeast on the card. Okay. Right? So if I place it in, I tap like that. It generates heat, okay. which causes yeast to rise. Feel like you should be wearing boots right now? <laughs> I call that the BS factor. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. right? You get to do it this time. Okay. Right into the center. Just take your fingers, give it a little tap. That was pretty soft, not okay. very manly. Let's well, maybe second from the top, a little harder. Okay. Do it a little harder. Better, better, better. Two of hearts. Wow. Last time. We'll take the two, put a bend into it like so. Okay. Right. That way it will be easy to know where it's at. Okay. Take it, place it way down here to, into the deck. We'll do this one for the camera. You can see two from the back, Jimmy. Here we go. Watch. Ready? One, two. Three, the bent. What? Two of hearts. <laughs> cool. Want to see the first trick I ever learned? Yes. Yeah, all right, all right. I haven't so, done this in a while. So. So when we watch America's Got Talent at home, the magicians are the magicians, and then the like the the dancing things with uh -huh. like the weird stuff in the background. Mm -hmm. That's so surreal. But that and the magic. Trick That's your favorite. They're part. my favorite things yeah. to watch. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard for magicians to win on there because. They had a winner. Yeah. But now would be well, a good time Shin Lam won. Yeah, Shin Lam. Shin Lam. Um, yeah. Do you watch Penn and Teller? I have. Penn mm -hmm. and Teller Fools. So we've had uh, Brian Saint has performed. Who was he a was, fooler. He fooled them. We had Dan Harlan last he time. Them. He fooled them. And then this weekend coming up, we have John Michael Hinton. Who was on the show. Who was on the show. Didn't fool them. He didn't fool them. <laughs> they figured out his trick. Yeah, yeah they but it was. It out. But it was, uh, it, he was, he did a fantastic job. So, um. I'm going to show you the first one of the first things I've ever learned, all right? Okay. I haven't done it in a while. I don't know why I'm doing this one for you, but we will have one. 
think. Anywhere? Yeah, over here. You're like really I was picky. gonna go. I was gonna go. I had one picked up. Are you that indecisive at home? <laughs> That's my wife. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you got it. Depends yeah, on I didn't, see it. It. I didn't yeah. see it. I didn't yeah. see it. Make, make sure Janet sees okay, it. Let me see it. Okay. He yeah. cheats. Plays it here. He cheats, here. Jimmy. Jimmy, I need to use your hand as a table. All right. Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn over card number one mm -hmm. somewhere from the deck. It's gonna tell me the color of your card. Like if it's a red card, I know your card's red. If it's black, I know your card's black. Okay. I'll turn over a second card. It will tell me where in this deck is. Like if I turn over a seven, I'll count seven cards onto your hand. That seventh card will be yours and you'll drop to your knees and bow. Okay. It'll be amazing. <laughs> I may have messed this up. <laughs> this is great. Um, keep the camera rolling, but I may mess this up. Uh, the three of clubs tells me your card's a black card. The next card, the four of hearts, tells me your card's from the top. That's one, two, three, four. Your card right here. Name your card. Three of clubs. Is he for real? Yeah, he is. Uh -huh. Watch. The three of clubs. <laughs> what makes it a good trick is this. The four cards here are the one, two, three. You feel that suspense build? Uh -huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. And I'll do a little point thing for you. And then, uh, like to see it on TV is one thing, but to actually experience it is right. something different. You're like, I can see him. He's still. So, um, hold this back here. I usually do this to music, but we'll. Uh... There's a better version of this on the film I give you, but we'll do it for you, okay? So, I was very. Oh, you good? Right. I was very, very lucky in that um, I was raised by two wonderful people, my grandparents. And uh, my grandfather was handy, right? Mm -hmm. And he, this leather purse here, he uh, he made for me. Um, and he um, he put four old silver coins in it. And he said these words. I, I remember them to this day. He said, "Someday, maybe you'll come up with something to do with it." Today, someday. Okay. So let me show you what I came up to do with it. All right. Sure. Inside this are four very old. He was born in the 1900s, and these coins are from 1912, mm -hmm. 1907. Uh, right? Here's what we're going to do. Just four coins. Two hands. Here we go. Watch. Just one, Jimmy. I'm leaving just three. Three and only three. I saw your eyes bulge out there. Yeah. Right, let's do this one a little different. Okay. Janet, three. Two. Two. Okay, so just two here. Two on your side, Jay. Yeah. And two on your side, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to step back just a little bit so you guys can see this. Two, one, <laughs> and three. So, Jimmy, can you help me with this last one? Sure. Just take your hand and place it over the saucer. Okay. Right. One coin to go. Gone. Lift up your hand. One, two, three. <laughs> right. How was that? That was really cool. So I couldn't help but notice uh, your matching tattoos. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Yeah, it's something that um, Scott and I got a few years ago. It's just basically to raise awareness for both autism uh, puzzle pieces, a recognized symbol for autism, and the semicolon is for mental health awareness. Um, our son is autistic and he's also bipolar. So it's just something that we did that makes us think of him. Yeah. So. It also, the semicolon, I think, for us also means our story isn't over, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's just, it's still continuing and keeps building. So I, I, I love it. I swore I would never get a tattoo, but I did. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Scott and Janet, I've really enjoyed um, having this conversation and getting to know you guys. And I'm always excited to learn about new businesses, but to hear your story was, uh, was really cool. So thank you so awesome. much thank for you. Thank just you, been Jimmy. Comment, I appreciate it. Thank you, Jimmy. So. So Janet, you mentioned you have art classes for kids as well. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have art classes for kids on Fridays at 1 o'clock, Fridays at 4, and Saturday mornings. But the um, Friday 
at one o'clock class we set aside for students with intellectual and developmental disabilities that may have a 504 and IEP in place. Okay. Um, we limit it to six students so we can kind of have a sensory friendly environment, not a lot of chaos, not a lot of noise, um, turn the music down a little lower and we limit it to six. There's always two of us here so we'll have time to work with the kids individually mm -hmm. um, and we also, the parents stay most of the time um, but they can relax a little bit knowing that we understand because we have a son on the autism spectrum yeah. so we understand the challenges that may come with finding um, an extracurricular activity for those kids. Um, Scott and I also are on the advisory board for Best Buddies of North Carolina mm -hmm. and it's an amazing organization that works a lot in schools to put together um, events and activities to foster relationships between kids with disability or with an intellectual disability um, and a neurotypical kid just to help them feel more included in activities and things that are going on so um, we it's a buddy program yeah. yeah it's a buddy program and we um, we've chaired their largest fundraiser uh, for the last two years this year's coming up will be our third it's at the Fillmore in October um, so we're really looking forward to that. It'll be a masquerade. So check out their website. It's bbnc.org. Okay, I'll certainly do that. Do that on the screen as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.